Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be unboxing May 2023, the Witch's Bounty Box. And this is a monthly subscription box by the Witch's Moon. So let's open the box and see what's inside. This is what it looks like. So the theme for May is the Amber Temple. As we call upon the warmth, glory, and undefeatable energy of the sun during this time, we find ourselves standing upon the doorstep of the Amber Temple. Within these energies, the amber light pours into our aura as if to shine luminous rays into the darkest crevices of our souls. These gifts are from the ancient providers and connects us to the deepest and most rooted parts of our spirit. We have been planning this piece for almost a year and cannot wait for our subscribers to finally experience these beautiful and powerful stones. Join us in May as we celebrate the glory of light with a collection that is sure to be passed along from generation to generation. First, we have this beautiful piece of artwork. Looks like she has butterfly wings. And it is Amaterasu. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But Amaterasu is the Shinto embodiment of the divine sun, illuminating and nourishing all. She represents balance, harmony, constancy, and purity. As an over-attentive guide, Amaterasu encourages us to illuminate from within to better fulfill our own spiritual renewal. Got that out of the box, here's a little peek. Oop. Since it flew out, let's open our stone first. It comes in this cute little green bag. And you can always reuse these bags for anything. And since this is green, it would be good for a money spell. So it looks like... It is some type of amber, I am guessing. It is super, super light, which amber is when it is solidified. Tumbled Sumatra Amber, sourced from Sumatra, Indonesia. This beautiful tumbled, tumbled amber carries dark and sometimes smoky reflections. Carry this stone with you throughout the day to bring balance, clarity of thought, and good luck to every situation. In addition, allow these energies to bring warmth, comfort, and light to your experiences. Our incense for this month is stability. Let's take a smell and see if I can tell what scents are in it. Ooh. It is super musky. I can't really place it. But it reminds me of something. I just can't place the scent though. Kind of reminds me of something from my childhood, but maybe when I read if they tell me what scents are in it, I'll be able to kind of remember. It kind of smells like wood. Let's light it and cleanse our space. As you allow the smoke from this ritual incense to waft throughout your sacred space, Allow its energies to leave you feeling grounded and content. Accompanied by notes of cedar wood, this beautiful woody smoke has the ability to bring a sense of belonging to any sacred space. We have our oil, our anointing oil. And it is called Amber Temple. Let's smell our oil. I'm not sure if I like it. It kind of has like that baby powdery scent to it. It's not too bad. There are other scents in it than just that baby powder scent, but for me that just stands out. So it's not my favorite. We have created this Amber Temple Magical Anointing Oil with the attention, intention of accompanying you during times of darkness. The Amber Temple represents our connection with all that is good, all that is kind, and all that brings warmth to our hearts. 
This blend was created to enhance feelings of love and compassion for the natural world. As you cultivate your energy each day, allow this anointing oil to be your companion and ethereal friend. We have enchanted this oil with oils of bergamot, amber, and cedar, as well as willow, oak, and pine herbs. We have our candle. Do I even want to guess? I don't even know if I want to guess. <laughs> Maybe yellow or green? It is a brown candle. Ancient Whispering's Hand Rolled Spell Candle. We have hand rolled this spell candle to create a space for you to sit, to be silent, to be grounded, and to open your psychic heart and mind to messages that may be attempting to reach you. These ancient whisperings may hold new ideas or inspiration for current projects or workings. We have our corded necklace to go with the pendant. This is just like a cream color. And the last thing in the box in the moment we've been waiting for, it is our pendant for the month. I have no idea what this would look like. I don't even know. I was hesitant to get this month because I wasn't even sure if it was something I was going to like. So let's see. Okay, it's, it's pretty cool. I like it. It's not like my typical type of jewelry I would wear, but I think on like a longer chain, I would like this larger pendant. It does look like there are three different crystals on it. It says it's a sterling silver pendant and it has citrine, quartz crystal, and a Sumatra amber. I love the sun coming through the amber. It's really pretty. You can see there's some things, some like inclusions inside of it. I'm guessing this is the largest crystal and I'm pretty sure that is the quartz. And then I guess this, there's a little diamond up or a little stone up top here. And I'm guessing that is the citrine and it is like the tiniest, tiniest piece of citrine. So it's pretty cool that it has the three crystals all in one. So, and quartz is an amplifier. So this large piece of quartz is going to amplify the powers of the two other crystals. So that's really cool and I do love it. So I'm, yeah, I'm excited to wear this. Sumatra Amber Citrine and Quartz Pendant. As one of our favorite and most collected stones or fossilized items, Amber has been a large inspiration for a number of projects we have worked on over the years. This specific type of amber was discovered in Sumatra in Southeast Asia and is completely natural without treatment of any kind. Sumatran amber is commonly known for having spots or dark areas floating within it. Dating between 20 to 200 million years old, amber is a fossilized resin and is found in a variety of beautiful colors and hues. Used for creating jewelry and ornaments almost 5,000 years ago, Amber has found its way into the stories of ancient Egypt and floats through the great mytho mythologies and imagery of ancient Greece. It is said that upon the death of Phaeton, his sisters wept uncontrollably, eventually turning into poplar trees and producing tears made of amber. This wonderful ancient gemstone provides a sense of well-being and warmth to the carrier and is known as the humble companion, silently grounding us. As this stone comes from the living form of trees, it carries with it such deep significance and energy. In addition, amber carries the ability to shine light into any difficult situation we may be facing. We have found amber to be a stone of tranquil and confident temperament, providing us with a sense of belonging and foundation. As you wear this pendant through these brighter months, rely on its light, warmth, and creative power to bring feelings of hope and excitement to your daily workings. And that was everything that came in May's Witch's Bounty, the Amber Temple. And yeah, so I would say that my favorite item is obviously the pendant, which I think for most people, 
that would be your favorite if you get this box because it is the standout item. Um, it is what is worth the most in this box as well. So that is definitely my favorite item. And my least favorite item would be the Amber Temple Anointing Oil just because I wasn't a fan of the scent for it. It does have that baby powdery scent. I put it on my wrist and I can still really smell it. I'm just not... I'm not a huge fan of that, but this box was beautiful. I loved everything in it. I can't wait to see what the theme for June is going to be. And that will determine if I get the box or not. I feel like I might skip a month. I just need a break from it and get some use out of the pendants that I got the past couple months. So yeah. So that's everything in this box. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite and least favorite item was in this box, if you received it or not, and stay tuned for more unboxing videos to come. I hope you have a great day. Please like and subscribe and comment. As always, I appreciate everything you guys do just to keep this channel afloat and to push my content out there to reach more viewers. And I will see you guys in the next video.